It is officially day 15 of our 30 day decluttering challenge. And if you've made it all the way to day 15 and you've shown up every day, I just want to say congratulations because guess what friends? Over 90% of people quit a challenge halfway through. So you are amazing. Pat on the back, pat on the back. You've got through the hard part. Now it gets easier. Today we are tackling your linens. So if you don't have a linen closet, anywhere that you store sheets or towels or pillowcases, we only have to spend five minutes and we only have to find five things to go. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, let's declutter. All right, so I've decluttered this space like a million gazillion times, but right off the bat, I see one thing that can go. It's a broken pillowcase for some reason, and that's the truth. I'm gonna focus on pillowcases because I replace them often because they get kind of nasty, but then I never get rid of the old ones. You know what I'm saying? I never, ever, ever get rid of the old ones. So whether you have ripped towels, Maybe you have a sheet set for a bed you don't even have anymore, or you've treated yourself to new sheets and you've got old ones. It's kind of like you only need one extra sheet set per bed max. So all those extras can definitely go, but I'm focusing on pillowcases. And again, five minutes, five things. Oh, right off the bat, I see like a little kid one that was themed to a room we don't have anymore. <laughs> Does trash count? Trash absolutely counts. Take some pressure off yourself. This isn't about organization. It's not about perfection. It's not about like washing this out and making it look fabuloso. We just need to make it easier, which means we just need less stuff. All right, I am feeling pretty good. There's like a million down here. Let me see. What about this one? What about this little tiny? Yep, it could go, sure. Absolutely. And this one looks very stained. Goodbye, goodbye. This one, I have enough. I have so many. I'm not even gonna fold them or organize them. I'm gonna shove them back in and we're we're moving on, friends. These are good. Now let's talk about towels. If you follow any minimalists, aka Don the Minimal Mom, they recommend having one towel per family member. That's a that's a big heck no in this house because we um, uh, like to have a towel for our hair and a towel for our body and a towel for the floor. Plus we have a hot tub. Plus we have guests that come quite often. So we have probably way too many towels, but they're kept in the other space. What the deuce is this? But I can get rid of the nasty towels. I can take a look and say, I wouldn't want a guest using this towel and honestly, I don't want myself using this gross old towel. And so we can let those go. Treat yourself, you should get out of the shower and treat yourself to a towel that feels like hotel luxury. And if it's ripped and it's stained, you deserve better. And just let that go because it's about self-respect. This is about self-love and self-respect and having, oh, you know what, I don't need this. I don't need this, I don't need this. It's about having a home that makes you feel good all the time. Okay, so very exciting. These are actually pillowcases. I don't know why they were in there. I got rid of way more than five, friends. Feeling good, feeling good. I should perhaps organize, but I'm not going to because we're not getting burnt out. Five minutes, that's all we need. I still have a whole minute left, but I'm calling it good. My pile's pretty big. I hope yours is too. Make sure you take a picture and share that using the hashtag ClutterbugDeclutter. And I'm gonna see you right back here tomorrow. Hey guys, thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I love hotels. I'm not a camper. I'm all about the hotel, but I have had some like horror hotel experiences, mostly in my youth because I didn't have a lot of money and I was homeless for a long period of time. So I often would stay in like really budget hotels, but this one is the grossest experience I ever had. I go to go to sleep and I tuck myself in under the blankets and I'm a side sleeper with my leg up and I slide my hand under the pillow and I feel bones. 
So I turn on the light and I lift up the pillow. There's like a full chicken carcass, okay? A full chicken carcass under the pillow of this perfectly made bed, which then I start ralphing because friends, I got a weak stomach and I realized they didn't, not only did they not change the sheets, they just remade the, the bed. They didn't even, they didn't even peek. How many people have slept in this bed and the sheets have not been changed? And it was horrible. And then don't even get me started on the duvet. Those things never get washed. Even at the best hotels, man, those things do not get washed. And also, I found a burnt spoon in the top drawer of the bedside table. So like, um, needless to say, I'm a bit, I want to call myself a hotel snob now, but I like, I stay away from the motels and I go for the hotels. It's got to have an H friend. And I always look under the pillow. Let me know in the comments below if you have like a hotel horror story. Hopefully not. I'll be traumatized, but I'm, I'm here for it. Thanks so much. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.